Hey guys, what's going on? So I have a back issue haul here and I have quite a bit to go through so I'm going to try to fast forward through as much as I can. But uh, this came from three different sources. I have uh, LCS and uh, MidtownComics.com as well as Half Price Book. So getting into it, uh, starting off with my LCS, I'll come back to that. But I uh, picked up uh, four more of this True Believers. Four more of the uh, Wolverine vs. Hulk. Picked up one more Renegade. Uh, this one has a coupon, so I keep it in uh, mint condition for my collection. Then getting into Midtown, I picked up the Asian variants, the cover B. So I have all of them except for one and seven. Seven just came out uh, last month. Right, so then I get into, picked up a uh, cover A of uh, all new Wolverine number one out of the current series and I picked up the toy variant as well. Picked up two covers of the uh, Justice League of America. Uh, this was the last room that came out not too long ago. So I'm from Texas, so I picked up the uh, Texas flag and uh, variant of the group photo. Alright, so I picked up a couple cover zeros of the Harbinger Faith. Uh, so I think this was the first uh, miniseries that happened before the current run. I went back and picked up a few of the Infinite Crisis uh, covers. And I love uh, Jim Lee, so <clears throat> I love this iconic cover over here from the number one. So I had the trade paperback, so I wanted the uh, single issues. This was my other favorite cover from the uh, from that series there, from another Jim Lee cover. Superboy Prime. Then I get into Harmager. I picked up number zero and number one from that last run. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the half price books from that, uh, I think this came from two different half price bookstores. So I get into Fathom Prelude, one. Got the last Starfighter, Got one, two, and number three. picked up Robotics, so I grew up with this toy. I don't know if uh, anyone remembers this toy, but I uh, picked up just for nostalgic, nostalgic purposes. Flashpoint number one. Picked up a Moon Girl Devil number one. Picked up a, uh, man, it's like a main condition of uh, Superman and Chain number one. I love this series. Picked up a few of the Eternal Warrior, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, number 50. Picked up Amazing Spider-Man number one. I'm sorry, uh, Renew Your Vows from uh, Secret Wars. Found a uh, Doom Patrol number one. I think this is from volume two or three. Found a number one X Men and, and the Micronauts. Love this uh, cartoon show when I was growing up. So, Silver Hawks number one. It's like mint condition. Picked up the Sabretooth uh, miniseries that came out, I think, mid 90s. Show off three and four. some uh, new titans, new teen titans. This is from volume number three. So, I'm sorry, volume number two. So picked up number two and three. Four and five. Sorry, went back from that to eternal run, found number one and two. It's so we're all main condition. Three. I, they did not have number four, you know, the one with the uh, first cameo bloodshot, but they have the uh, the full full one, number five. Found Ninjack, number two. Hardcore, number 
It's like mint condition, so I just had to pick it up. Found a Unity number one. So I've been trying to uh, get this first Harbinger run. I have, uh, have a couple of them so far. So seven, eight. Nine and 25. Okay, so next up is the, uh, my LCS had a pretty good sale, like 50% off of the uh, cover price. So everything I got here coming up was uh, $2, average of $2. Some of them were $1. So starting off, I have A plus X. I got uh, two variants. Here's number one. And I got a variant for the number two cover, 12 bucks each. I have Ultron, Age of Ultron. I have book number one, and uh, I got a variant of, uh, I think, the Scotty Young cover for uh, book number one as well. Picked up the original series of Archer and Armstrong, as well as a number one of the uh, current adventures of Archer and Armstrong. I continued that run a little bit. I uh, got number two and three. Picked up the Avengers Gangnam Style with uh, Deadpool, number one. So then I get into, picked up the uh, Avengers Forever, got a few of these. So here's the Scarlett Johansson, have the Scarlet Witch. These were like $18 each. So you picked up the Quicksilver and have the Thor as well. These are connecting. Unfortunately, I did not pick up all of them. I'm missing the Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America. This was the last one that I got the, uh, with Hawkeye. They're all about 18 bucks that I found online. All right, so I picked up a Heroic Age number one, Secret Avengers. And then I picked up a number one variant uh, for Uncanny Avengers. Oops. This one was about going for about 14. To... Picked up a West Coast Avengers number one, 80s run. Picked up a Bartman number one. Picked up a few of the uh, Batman New 52 runs. Got the uh, Endgame Part 4, number 38 and 39. Picked up a, uh, another Batman, number 50. Picked up the current uh, Rebirth Batman, number 1. Or one more to add to my collection. Picked up a uh, Batman Beyond, number 1. I think that was right before the new 52 run. Right, then I get into a few of uh, the cult. I got them one, two, and three. So I had this one, number three, originally. I never had the other, so I need to hunt down number four still. Picked up a number one Batman Dark Knight. Okay, this one was a store variant special and the owner let me have these for five dollars each so I picked up uh, three of these this is Dark Knight 3 Master Race number uh, book one variant found a Batman New 52 uh, Detective Comics number one this is going for like 20 bucks Alright, then we get into some uh, some Batman and Outsiders back issues, and I think I, uh, these I got for 90 cents, I believe. These were going for a uh, dollar, and then with a 10% uh, 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 member discount. I think those were 90 cents at the end of the day. 8, 9. 7, 12. Thirteen, fourteen. Then I get into finish off at fifteen for the older run, and then I got uh, picked up the newer run, number one. I think this was two thousand seven. Batman and Robin, new fifty-two. Picked up number one and number fifteen from Death in the Family. Picked up another Batman Superman from New Fifty Two. Picked up a couple Birthright. Uh, number one. So this is the uh, cover A, and this was a variant. Let's see. This is the 2014 New York Comic Con exclusive uh, cover. I'm sorry, color variant. Picked up 
a black road number one. Picked up a black widow number one, Mark Wade run. Hardcore Bloodshot number zero. Picked up a Bloodshot Reborn number one. Picked up this uh, Captain America Falcon, kind of a uh, damaged uh, condition, or you know, from October 1972. I think I got that one for two bucks. Both having the uh, older comics, anything below you know 40 cents is pretty cool to me. Picked up a variant for uh, Captain America: The Mighty Avengers. Got a Scotty Young variant. Another variant for the all-new Captain America. This is a Hastings variant, number one. Same title, this was a Scotty Young variant. Picked up a Civil War, number one. Picked up a Clean Room, number one. The current Cyborg, this is a cover B, number one that came out. Current series. Found a Daredevil with uh, Wolverine, number 196. I think this was going for, I think, $12. Got that one for $2. A couple more Daredevils. I picked up uh, 230, 231. Picked up the Death of Wolverine. I have this in trade. I never picked up the uh, single issue, so I found the single issues the four, from 1, 2, 3, 4. Love that cover. Up the Deathstroke Death Stroke Rebirth as well as uh, number one from the current series. Picked up a number one of Demonic. I, I never picked this one up uh, in singles. Picked up uh, Drifter and I think I picked up one, two, three, four, I believe. Yeah, three and four. And then I picked up Fantastic Four versus the X Men. Picked up that series, one, two, three, four. Picked up a Gambit variant cover. This is going for, I think, $25 online. Got this one for two bucks. Found a Gen 13. Picked up a few of the Green Lantern runs from the, uh, during the New 52 run. So start uh, part one, Secret Origin, number 36, with uh, Red Lanterns. Picked up the Agent Orange. Picked up Green Lanterns, New Guardians, number zero. Picked up Green Lantern from New 52 run, number one, number two. From that same run, number 23.4 with uh, some of the villains. I picked up some of these villains with the hologram run. I don't know if y'all can see that. Those are pretty cool. Picked up another, I have this already, but uh, picked up one more Green Lanterns from the current series, number one. Picked up a few of the Harbinger, so I had number one already, so I picked up number two and three, four and five. Found the toy variants of Hyperion, number one. Got a copy of Invincible, number zero. Picked up uh, Invincible Iron Man, number one. Itchy and Scratchy, number one. Got uh, another number one, JSA. I think I have about three of these. Jeff Johns run, I love that series. This one's pretty good. So I found this one going for $35 online. This was a variant of uh, Justice League from New 52, the number one. And let's see, that's a David Finch cover. So yeah, 35 bucks. Just picked up another one of these just for the cover. Superman kissing Wonder Woman. All right, this one was was a surprise when I ran into it. So I found two copies of number forty, and this was the first appearance of Grail. I think it's going for like twenty five bucks online. Yeah, twenty five bucks. I found two of those for two dollars each, and I got the first full appearance uh, appearance of Grail number forty one. Of course, the uh, cameo is worth quite a bit more. Picked up another number one of Justice League. It was like main condition, so I just picked up one more copy, even though it's a horrible run so far. 
went on that same um, villain uh, hologram run that I found. So this was from Justice League of America, Black Adam, number one. And yeah, I love Black Adam. So I don't know if y'all you can see it a hologram or not, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Picked up a Justice League Dark number zero. Picked up Justice League Gods vs. Monsters. The uh, Batman and the Superman number ones. Picked up a copy, another number one, I have this already, but uh, another number one of Kaiju Max. And a number one of Justice Society of America from 2007. All right, next we get into some Magnus Robot Fighters, and I found some that were actually signed. So these were signed by, let's see, Jim Shooter and Art Nichols. So that's Shooter, that's Art. I have never figured out what this other signature is right here. Couldn't figure that one out, but uh, number two signed, number three is not signed. All right, so continuing on, I found two number fours, and both of them are signed. And I found these going for about uh, $15 each online. This one is not signed. This one on the right side is signed. The last robot fighter that is signed. A couple He-Man, Master of the Universe, uh, number one of this series and number one of the Origin of Skeletor series. Got a number two of the original series of Moonlight and uh, found number, number one of, I think this is volume number two or volume number three. It's a Moon Knight number one from, I think, the uh, current series or the series right before the current series. Accidentally picked up a copy or two copies of uh, Miss Marvel number one. Got a new Mutants uh, number 93. I remember that, uh, that cover growing up. Got a Nightwing, uh, Death in the Family, number 15. Got a Ninjack, number 1. Got a variant of number 1, Old Man Logan, and I have number 2 of the other series that came out. Picked up a Origin, number 1, and a variant of the same uh, cover. This was the Hastings variant. Yeah, I saw that one going for about $10 online. Just read this graphic novel, loved it, so I picked up a number one of the uh, that series. Current series, Power Man and Iron Fist. Picked up a few of the Punisher War Journals with uh, Wolverine on the covers. Number one, Radioactive Man. Found a number two rod. It was like basically mint condition. Found a Red Lanterns number one. Robinson of Batman number one. All right, found a few variants of uh, Rocket Raccoon. Found the Hastings variant for number one. Found this one. Just David Pearson. It's going for nineteen dollars online. Then I also found uh, two uh, black and white variants by J. Scott Campbell. I found two of these. These are one for about $15 online. Midtown variant. Picked up the original Secret Wars. Number three, number four. This one had some damage. Number five and six. And the last one I found was number nine. I found a Simpsons number, Simpsons comics, as well as a Simpsons comics and stories, both number ones. I think the Simpsons was going for about $14. And I found all these for $2. Here's a Sinestro number one from the New 52 run. So I found a spawn sign, but this is by Al Simmon, and I can't remember the story, but I remember there was like a falling out with that guy and uh, Todd McFarlane. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know if that uh, signature like degrades <laughs> the uh, spawn number one that I found. All right, so we get a few older Amazing Spider-Mans, number 270, 276. This one has Carnage. This one I found going for about $15 online. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number two, uh, 362. 
that's a good one. So this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man. It's going for like $16. Part of the uh, Craven series. $2.93. Found a Spider-Man Deadpool toy variant from the current series. This is a Star Wars number four. This is a uh, GameStop variant. This one's going for about $16. Found Obi-Wan, Anakin. I found one of the uh, variants here for number one. It's going for like $18 as well. Saya Owen. Probably just butchered that last name. Found number one of the uh, Sinestro Core special, 2007. It's one of the better uh, storylines out there. Number one, Snowblind. Number one, Spider Gwen. Oh, here's another one. I knew I got another one. So this was The Death of Craven, going for about $20. I got this one for, uh, I think I got this for uh, $250. Got a variant of the current uh, Spider Man, Miles. Number one, Star Wars. Got Poe Dameron. Got uh, Princess Leia as well. Got another number one for uh, Lando. Couple Superman. I got uh, one of the uh, final days of Superman from the end of the New 52 Superman. And I got the uh, the current uh, Superman from uh, the Lois and Clark, the pre-52 Superman. Got a Scotty Young. Thor, God of Thunder. I love that storyline or that run that he did there. Also got a current uh, Mighty Thor number one. Never picked that number one here. Found a Transformers the movie. Man, this is a great condition. Found a number two. I have a number one, so I'm looking for a number three. So these are two separate runs here, but uh, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, number one. I found a variant uh, number one as well. This one was going for pretty good. This one I found this one going for $18 online. Picked up that older uh, Versus. You have the DC versus Marvel and the Marvel versus DC. So I remember reading through this when I was younger, but I uh, wanted some uh, mint condition copies to put in my collection. Got that uh, free comic book day, Walking Dead, that came out. I have one of these already, but I picked up another number one, We Stand Guard. Found a What If Hulk Had Killed Wolverine, number 50. Found a couple uh, the regular covers of the Wolverine runs that came out. Uh, that first series and the second series that came out like uh, two years later, I think. Got a number one from Wolverine Max. Got to another number one, Wolverine the X-Men. So this is probably one of my better finds. So this was a cover variant of uh, for the comic book legal defense fund. I found this one going for $42. This was a variant number one of Witches by uh, Snyder. So I was really surprised to uh, find that. Get into my X-Men run. So I have number seven of that X-Men series. Found a annual of Uncanny X-Men number five. I think this one's going for about 20 bucks, $25. Found a uh, X Babies, the uh, giant size X Men, number annual number ten. Got those for all two dollars. Okay, so I get into my Uncanny X Men run. So I found number one sixty nine with uh, Callisto the Morlocks. I have uh, number seventy as well. Seventy three, seventy eight. I have most of these. A lot of these are just upgrades from what I currently have. For some reason, I picked up two. I'm gonna keep the uh, the better copy of my collection. Eighty-five, eighty-nine, or sorry, ninety-one. I don't know why, but I picked up three copies of this one. This is uh, number one ninety-seven. One ninety-nine and uh, two thirty-six. And Mr. Sinister, 239 and 240. And one of those uh, Deluxe, number 350. And Psylocke, 257. 
be finishing off the Uncanny Run. I have uh, number 390. Picked up a number one of the Astonishing X-Men, and I really like the uh, the colors on that cover there. So now we get into an X-Factor Run. So I found number 15, the last appearance of uh, Warren as the uh, you know with his wings. Found number 19. Just gonna stack these. Found number 23. Number 25. And I found two copies of that one. So yeah, that's it for this run. Should you like what you see here, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.